you're not working for government, you're not at NMPC, mm. you're not working at the central bank, you're working doing the job that you're sent to do. Uh, still, politics went to find you in a mosque, mm. persecuted you and kicked you out of the mosque. They didn't care about what you will eat the next, it's not as if you eat their food anyways, but they didn't care about how you feel about it. But they just had to sacrifice one person because it's standing up for the truth. If it is against the will of the government, they have security operations. Mm -hmm. They know how to operate. Let them come and arrest me. Exactly. But you in the mosque, as a committee member or as a chairman, you have no right, right. to question me. Mm -hmm. If it is against the talent of Islam as well, summon the FCT committee of Imams to call me and ask me. I am feeling as if I gain my freedom now. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I can speak out freely. freely. I don't mind anybody uh, whether he feels good or bad. Yes. My mission is to create awareness in the minds of Nigerians mm. that we are not slaves. Mm. Our mothers gave birth to us as free people. Yes. We are free people. That freedom is very vital. Very important. If we can retain that, if we can maintain that freedom, we can speak out but we can speak out against bad leaders. Yes. But if we, we are afraid of them, we are now slaves. That's right. Somebody will just pick one of us and negotiate. Mm -hmm. How much will you buy this? Mm -hmm. Yes, that is what is happening in Nigeria today. Absolutely. They are kidnapping citizens, mm -hmm. selling them out, mm -hmm. negotiating. Mm -hmm. Look at somebody that can be here to negotiate with criminals. Mm -hmm. Now he's afraid to listen to citizens. Mm. That is a problem. <coughs> Don't worry. If they pick you up, uh, I will come and join you there. <laughs> <laughs>